It's fairly easy to say I will make retro style game, but to truly catch this vibe of 80s and 90s, that's a real deal. But I guess I found one such game that truly nailed it. The game is called Slave Zero X and I'm going to speak about it with Alex. Hi Alex, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. Slave Zero X is a game that it, it really looks like something from like some beat em up game from arcade machines from 90s and I'm curious how developers achieved that. I mean, they did some huge detailed research or maybe they're just fans of such games so it was natural for them. I think it's a mix of both of those things. I think in this case, many people on the team were very immersed in games from that time. They also had their own kind of imagination of like, what if I could play with these mechanics, but have it feel like those games that made me fall in love with games in the first place. Some of it was a mix of using tools that were actually used in the late 90s and early 2000s especially. Like most of the levels in the game are built in Trench Room, which is still what's used for Quake mods today. Uh, and then some of it was kind of like an artistic reinterpretation of some of those techniques. And then of course, all the player character animations and most of the enemies are sprite based as well. And so they were trying to reproduce the look and feel of, you know, games that were made back then in a way that's pretty painstaking and takes a long time. And so you, you understand why it's not done because Ironically, to make a game look older, it can be more expensive and take more time and more care. So it's not easy uh, to make a retro style game today. I learned that people think that it's easy, but it's really not. Right, yeah, people think if the game doesn't look like The Last of Us or doesn't look like Uncharted, then it must be cheap and easy to make. But there's not only a lot of art and a lot of design that goes into it, but you want to make it pixel perfect and make sure the animation looks and feels good in every single context, making something that looks old can be just as difficult or present entirely different challenges for making something that look and feels new, so to speak. Uh, so when we met up with Poppy Works and they had this prototype for a game that they'd always wanted to make that was kind of like a 2D action game, very much influenced by fighting games, like Guilty Gear and other anime fighting games, but in a 3D environment. They were looking at our catalog and they felt that Slave Zero, which came out from on Dreamcast 1999, would be a good IP fit. So it was kind of a match made in heaven. And since then, we've just been incredibly proud to kind of let them run wild with their creativity, bring this world to life in a new way. And yeah, I think not only action fans and people that want a challenge will be satisfied, but if you like a good story and cool like cyberpunk, biopunk aesthetic, I think you'll enjoy it too. But yeah, right now the demo is available on Steam. Uh, it's also available on Xbox Series X, and we'd encourage you to wishlist it and look out for some big announcements coming very soon. 